In this lecture, we're going to look at the serializable isolation level, which provides the highest level of isolation and solves all concurrency problems. So at this level, our transactions are executed in sequence, one after another. So you really don't have concurrency. The experience we get is like a single user system. One user executing different commands against the database. These commands are executed sequentially. Now, following the example from the last lecture, let's execute line four. So currently we have only two customers in Virginia. Now we're going to change the transaction isolation level to serializable. Let's execute line two. All right. Now we start a new transaction. But before we read the customers in Virginia, let's go to the second session and add another customer in Virginia. So customer number three. So we start a transaction. We update the customers. We haven't committed anything yet. So while the first client is trying to read the customers in Virginia, another client is updating customer number three. So this customer should be included in our query. Otherwise, we're going to have phantom reads. So I'm not going to commit this transaction yet. Instead, we're going to execute line four. Now, look at this spinner here. This transaction is waiting for this other transaction to finish. This is the result of serializable isolation level. So once we commit this, then our transaction will execute. And now we have three customers in Virginia. So with the serializable isolation level, we solve all concurrency problems. We don't have phantom reads. We don't have lost updates or dirty reads. All concurrency problems get resolved because our transactions are executed sequentially, one after another. The more users and the more concurrent requests we have, the more weights we're going to experience. So as I told you before, use this isolation level only for situations where you want to prevent phantom reads, but not for every transaction in your system. The default isolation level that is repeatable read works for most scenarios. So stick to that unless you know what you're doing.